Fire destroyed a small church in Alma that's been around for more than 100 years. News for Sarah Minkowitz talked to a member of St. Paul's Lutheran Church. She has an update from Alma. St. Paul's Lutheran Church went up in flames over the weekend. This church has been in the Alma community for more than 170 years. A longtime parishioner tells me that he's hoping with the community's help, this church can rise from the ashes. It's like a historic building for our, in our neighborhood. Um, so it's, it's something, if it's gone, it's going to be dearly missed by the neighbors. Thomas Schaefer lives next door to St. Paul's Lutheran Church on Main Street in Alma. On Saturday, he saw the church on fire. It was sad to see. Um, it's, like I said, I, the church is my neighbor and they're very good neighbors. And it was just, just sad to see that that damage and the stent and the possibility that it won't be there anymore. We have members of our congregation that are on sixth and seventh generation of families that have worshipped here since 1862. Parishioner Bob Bridenstine says the church was in the process of renovating the steeple. No one was hurt in the fire and the church managed to save several artifacts from being destroyed. Bridenstine has faith the congregation will come out stronger. That's going to continue in spite of what was arguably uh, a pretty dark day in our congregation's history. While the congregation figures out its next steps, a church in West Seneca stepped up and offered their building as a place for members of St. Paul's to hold service. Ebenezer was gracious and opened up their, their doors and their church to us so that we could worship. Uh, we've had other uh, congregations throughout Western New York offer us hymnals and spaces to meet. The cause of the fire is still under investigation. In Elma, Sarah Minkowitz, News 4. Becky, just think of all the memories.